In this lesson, we learn about functions and events in AngularJS. So in iScript.js, let's write a basic function, the dollar sign scope, and we want our function to be named count cast that will count the characters of any string. So function and this will receive a parameter. So param and we return param dot length. So how to use this? So we can within our h1 tag in an expression for now we say count cars and we pass some string random string so let's see what happens it is 30 and let me tell you one more thing so I cut this and like in jQuery we use inner HTML in AngularJS we have this ng bind directive and this equals our function count characters and we pass some value I save it and refresh so it says 10 so whatever the output is it places here within the h1 tag so this is our ng bind directive so time now to learn about events First we create a button, my button and we create some variable so scope dot my var equal 1 and whenever we click on this button so we want to run a function so we use it this way and we click we say my Funk, so my function. So let's write this here. Dollar sign scope of my funk, and it is our function. And what this will do? This will increment this by one. So dollar sign scope dot my var plus plus we we'll save this so whenever we click on this button then this ng click directive will run this function and this function will increment this value by one we show somewhere this variable my var so in our h1 tag i use ng directive ng bind and my var so this is a my var and this is my func, this is a function, so we need to use this parenthesis. So reload this, and if I click on this button, then this increments the value by 1. So this is how events work in AngularJS.